the Aaron cable or sorry the Aaron cable or the Aaron braid H how do you do it it's a four row repeat uh, the instructions are on uh, the back end of my um, my pattern so it first row is purl two cable four back cable four back and purl two easy enough I notice I'm using these because I like to know where my interesting stitches start and end. Okay, so this is the beginning of an Aran cable or an Aran braid. So you purl two, one, two, you cable four back. Two ways of doing this, with a cable and without, and we'll do both. So with a cable needle, what you do is you transfer two stitches to the cable needle, move the cable needle to the back of your work, then you are going to knit two, one, two, then you knit two from the cable needle, one, two. That's your first CB, C4B, cable four back. Now we have to do that again. Transfer two to the cable needle. Move it to the back of your work. Takes a bit of time, doesn't it? It does. You have to love knitting, <laughs> which I do. So then you knit two. Then you knit two from the cable needle. Oh, come along. One, two. And that is your second C4B or cable four back. And then to end row one of the Aran cable, you purl two. One, two. And because I like to use stitch markers to tell me I finished my Aran braid, that's what's going there. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do row one without using a cable needle because they slow me down. <laughs> so what I do is I'll go purl two, one, two, and then cable four back, which means these two stitches need to go to the back of the work. Normally that's on a cable needle, but I'm not using a cable needle. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this needle to the front so that those are at the back and I'm going to pick up those two stitches. I'm going to slide them all off, slide them all off of that needle and I'm going to rescue those two stitches that are at the back. <laughs> ah, sneaky. Then I put these two stitches onto the needle. Now I just knit four. One, two, three, sink, four. All right, do that again. Cable four to the back. Those have to be in the back of this needle. I pick up the next two, whoops. I slide them all off. Like that and I rescue those two aha rescued then I transferred these two onto the needle and then I knit four one two oh, deux, trois, quatre. okay four and then you purl two one two and I like to use a stitch marker to tell me that I'm at the end of that. And I have just done row one of an Aran braid in two methods for you. I'll pick this up for row two. Row two of the Aran braid or the Aran cable, easy. Uh, there's my stitch marker telling me I am at the, um, I'm at that point. And now, what I do is I knit two, one, two, then I purl eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I knit two, one, two. And that is row two of an Aran braid. I did two braids back to back, so I'm just going to do that again. I knit two, I purl eight, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and knit two. Okay, that's it. That's row two. Row three of the Aran braid or Aran cable says purl two, knit two, CF four, or cable four forward, knit two, purl two. All right, easy enough. Purl two, um, one, two. Again, I'm gonna show you how to do this uh, using a cable and, and knot. Okay, so I knit, I purl two, then I knit two, one, two, and then I have to cable four forward. So I get the cable needle, whichever kind you like. I'll use this one for now. And I take two stitches. And instead of going to the back of the work, they go to the front of the work. There it is. And then you knit two from your regular work. And then you knit the two that are on the cable needle that is in the front or the forward one, two. There you go. That's a cable F forward. And then you knit two, one, two, and then you purl two, one, two. That was easier than the last time. <laughs> so you only had to use the cable needle once. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do it without these things because they drive me crazy. Okay, so first thing we do is we purl two, one, two, then we knit two, one, two. Okay, now two of the stitches are supposed to go forward on a cable needle. So they're going to go forward. So this needle is going to go behind them and pick up um, the two stitches after those two. I'm going to slide everything off the needle, then rescue these two that are loose in the front. And then I take the two that are on that needle and then I knit four. One, two, three, four. And then you knit two, one, two, and you purl two, one, two, and you're done. And you continue with the rest of work. If you're doing the moss stitch, remember my trick? You're on the right side, so whatever he, he is here is right. So that happens to be a purl. So that's a purl, and then a knit, and then a purl, and a knit. And my edge stitch, because I'm on the right side, I knit it. Voila! That is row three of the Aran cable. Next comes row four. Row four of the Aran braid, or the Aran cable. I've hit the back side of my work. Here comes the cable, and now you knit two. It's just like row two. You knit two, you purl eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you knit two. Voila, look at that. I'll do it again because I had two back to back, right? So I knit two, I'm on row four, and then I purl eight, yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and knit two. Voila! And this is the back side. So just to finish this off, again, if you're doing the moss stitch, you're on the back side or the wrong side, so everything you see with the moss stitch is wrong. That's a purl. It's wrong. It needs to be a knit. That's a knit. It's pur. It's wrong. It needs to be a purl. That's a purl. It's wrong. It needs to be a knit. Knit. It's wrong. It needs to be a purl. And my edge stitch, I'm on the wrong side, so it is always a purl. And there you have it. That is the four um, rows of the Aran braid or the Aran cable. Have fun with that.